Hey everyone, what's going on? Nigel here with Honorsouls.com. Welcome to my channel where we talk all about sneakers. Today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys some of the best Nike running shoes in 2019. If you have not checked it out yet, I've recently done one that is the Adidas version, so if you're interested to check it out, I'll link it down somewhere around here and also in the description so they can go check it out. Now back to Nike running shoes. For those of you Nike fans out there and also runners, we all know how hard it is to get a good pair of running shoes. And with a lot of choices out there, it's really hard to pinpoint which are the best ones. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you some of my personal favourites, some of those that I think are really the best out there, so that you can have an idea of what are the best ones to look for. To help you further, I'll be breaking down some of the key aspects, such as the support level, the responsiveness, the sizing, the cost, and also most importantly, where you can go and find these shoes at a great deal to buy them at a discount. I'll also be linking down all the resources below so they can go check it out. Without further ado, let's dive right in to today's video. Alright, hey guys, so now we're at my computer screen. Before we begin, I'd just like to, as usual, show you guys the honorsouls.com site where if you'd like to check out a written version where you get a list of all the resources and content that I'm presenting today in the video, you guys can visit honorsouls.com. It will be under the latest article. At this point in time where I'm recording the video, the article has not been uploaded yet, but by the time you're watching it, it will definitely be there. So if you'd like to check out written content, you guys can visit honorsouls.com. Now without further ado, I would like to bring, jump right into today's content which is the best Nike running shoes in 2019. And the first one that I'd like to introduce to you guys will be the Nike Epic React Flyknit. So the Nike Epic React Flyknit actually comes in two editions. There is the Flyknit 1 which was released earlier in 2018 and there was the Flyknit 2 which was, if I'm not wrong, released in January 2019. So between the two, I've tried both out. Frankly speaking, I've not felt that there is much difference between them. So because of that, the review actually applies to both Flyknit 1 and Flyknit 2. So uh, we'll jump right in. Firstly, I'd talk, like to talk about the responsiveness. So for the Nike Epic React Flyknit 2, it's actually made of React foam at the midsole, which is actually one of the most responsive foam that I've actually tested out. It's really soft, really responsive. You can actually feel that there is great energy returning effect on the midsole, which actually makes it amazing for running. Moving on to support, the thing about support is that actually along the sneaker collar, there isn't much padding. But what I really like is that there is this soft fit nature, as you can see along the sneaker collar. I'll just scroll down. Along the sneaker collar, there is this soft fit nature which hugs against your ankles. So this hugging nature of the soft fit for the Nike Epic Rack Flying It actually gives really good ankle support. And not to mention the heel support there is also pretty substantial as well. As for traction, frankly speaking, the Nike Epic Rack has nothing special. Um, I wouldn't really think traction is a very important factor to me in terms of running shoes, but in terms of traction, the Nike Epic Rack has decent traction, definitely suitable for running on roads, definitely sufficient as well. For breathability-wise, you can expect no less because uh, for the Nike Epic React Flyknit, as the name suggests, it's made of Flyknit. And for those of you who've tried out Flyknit before, you know that it's very breathable, very stretchy. Um, the pores there definitely ensure good airflow, so you won't have to worry about the breathability as well. And if I'm going to talk about comfort level, overall, the comfort is definitely there. As I mentioned earlier, the React foam provides really good support, really good responsiveness, so you can actually really feel great cushioning on your soles. And not to mention, there is the sock fit, which really hugs your ankles and gives a really nice comfortable fit overall. As for sizing for this pair of shoes, I recommend going with your true size, and they tend to be slightly wider along the toe box. So for those of you who are wide feet, you may have to go up half size, even though it's slightly wider, because everyone has different feet. So uh, I would recommend going true size, but generally speaking, if they're white feet, I would recommend really going to try it out at a store first before making your purchase. So the retail price of the Nike Epic Rack Flyknit, both 1 and 2, retails at a price of 150 USD, which is definitely on the higher end. But a good thing about the Nike Epic Rack is that uh, most of it can be found on sale. As you can see, I'm on the official Nike site, and it's already on sale for more than 30%. And that's actually really amazing because for a Nike Epic Rack shoe to go at below $100, I would think that it's a really good deal for the performance that it offers. And in fact, um, among all the shoes that I'll be introducing today, this pair is actually the most value for money. So if you're a total beginner at running and you just want to get a pair of running shoes that is comfortable, offers high performance and is value for money, then the Nike Epic Rack is the one that I'll recommend you getting. So now, uh, let's talk about where to buy the Nike Epic Rack Flyknit 2. So there are a few places, as I mentioned, the Nike site is one of the top places I'll recommend because they are going up on sale now, you can see it's below $100, making them really worth it. Other places you can check out is uh, Amazon. Amazon, it depends. 
uh, some sizes they are at really good deals some sizes for example this particular size us 10.5 they are at offer at 114.95 at free shipping so it's a decent deal you can also check out other places such as n clothing and clothing has them at 95 usd but there's limited colorways to choose from so it really depends on what is the kind of colorway that you're looking out for Generally speaking, I would still recommend going to the main Nike site because the deal is really amazing and there is a wide range of colorways as you can see here for you guys to choose from. So if not, we're going to move on to the next pair of shoes, which is the Nike Zoom Pegasus Turbo. So the Nike Zoom Pegasus Turbo is what I would think is an upgrade from the Nike Epic Rack. There is really good responsiveness, definitely way more than the Nike Epic Rack. And the thing about this shoe is that it's really, really comfortable. And the reason is because there is actually dual layer midsole which makes it special so at the bottom you have the zoom foam and at the top you have the react foam so what makes this shoe really special is that this combination of the dual layer foam gives you great cushioning really soft makes it really comfortable but at the same time there is great responsiveness as well from the react foam so this makes the shoe a really amazing running shoe there is great energy returning effect every step you take really feels bouncy and you can really feel the energy returning to your step in terms of support wise there is better cushioning along the ankles so if you observe along the sneaker collar there is actually more padding along there so definitely more ankle cushioning as compared to the epic react um, that's why i say it's a sort of a upgrade from the epic react flyknit breathability wise this however is poorer as compared to the flyknit because for the case of the nike zoom pegasus turbo it's actually made of mesh so for mesh, it's actually less stretchy and also less breathable. But at the same time, personally, I feel that breathability isn't such an important factor when it comes to running performance. So all these things aside, I would still think that the Zoom Pegasus Turbo is a better running shoe as compared to the Epic React. In terms of sizing, I would really recommend going with your true size for this. And because it has a narrow shape, for those of you with white feet, you definitely need to go half size to one size up. So go have a try out at the store, see which one fits you the best. But in general speaking, if you have normal to narrow feet, going for true size is the best idea. Now, where do you get these sneakers? In general speaking, I would really recommend you to get the Epic React over the Zoom Pegasus Turbo because the price you pay is not really worth it. Um, as I mentioned, the performance and all is better. But in terms of whether it's value for money to pay $50 over more just for the Zoom Pegasus Turbo, I would personally think it's not worth it. But I, I've actually found quite a few places where they're actually offering at quite a good deal. For example, one of the top places is um, N. You can see it's actually going at only $95. So at this price, I would definitely recommend the Zoom Pegasus Turbo over the Epic React. But in a case where it's going at above $120, above $130, I wouldn't think that it's really worth it to get the Zoom Pegasus Turbo over the Epic React. Other places you can check out is Food Shop, where they offer more colorway choices, 159, 139. Amazon also has some pretty good deals at times, you can check them out. Um, generally speaking, I would say that the Nike Zoom Pegasus Turbo is more expensive as compared to the Epic React. And I personally wouldn't get the Zoom Pegasus Turbo over the Epic React because even though the performance is better, it doesn't really outweigh the cost. And unless there's really, really good deals, I would get the Nike Zoom Pegasus Turbo. But then again, the Nike Zoom Pegasus Turbo does offer higher performance. So if you are a more experienced runner, intermediate kind of runner, and you really want to get the better kind of running shoe, then the Nike Zoom Pegasus Turbo is the one that I recommend you to go for. So moving on, we'll touch on the last shoe of the day, and that is one of the most talked about shoes uh, this year, and that is the Nike Zoom X Vaporfly Next Percent. So the Nike Zoom X Vaporfly Next Percent is actually the second series after the Nike Zoom X Vaporfly 4%. So this shoe has been used by many top marathoners and is said to increase your performance by 4%, 5%, which in the case of marathon really makes a whole lot of difference. And is this shoe really, really that amazing? Personally, I've tried it out, tested out my brother's pair, and it really, really is as amazing as it sounds, in a sense where the responsiveness is definitely amazing the support you get from the soles, the support you get on the heels and the ankles really really feels amazing. What I especially like is that, not sure you can see here, yep. within the sneaker collar itself you see this black thing, there's actually this padding along this black thing which really comes in at an optimal position because this area really hugs your ankles really nicely. So when you're running in this, provided you get the perfect size, when you're running in this, it really feels well cushioned around your ankles. And honestly speaking, uh, as this is more of a racing shoe, the responsiveness, you can only feel it if you're running at a faster pace. So 
Generally speaking, if you are a beginner runner who's running at a slower pace, I wouldn't recommend getting this pair because then it would be a huge waste. Because for myself, when I tried it out, I can only feel the heightened performance when I'm running at a faster pace. When I'm running at a slower pace, generally speaking, it feels more or less the same as the Epic React or the Zoom Pegasus Turbo. So I wouldn't waste the 250 USD retail price on this pair of shoes. Sizing wise, this pair definitely runs true to size. The upper is also really thin, so I really recommend going true to size and not uh, going half size down just because you think that uh, it may fit tighter. Because the upper is really thin, so getting the perfect size is really important. As I mentioned earlier about the cost, um, this particular pair is really expensive. $250 of retail price and you won't see them at discounts anywhere. Almost anywhere I can't find them at discount. So you more or less have to pay around 240 to 250 USD uh, for this pair of shoes. Is it worth it in my opinion? Really depends on your own level of running, your own performance and what you're going for. If you are competing competitively, if you are running seriously, talking uh, 10 over miles every single day, going for very high intensity things, then I really recommend you going for this pair because this is really a game changer. The performance level for this particular pair is really amazing. But at the same time, if you're just a beginner to intermediate runner um, who runs a few times a week, just casually as a form of working out, then I wouldn't recommend you getting this pair because the price is really crazy. It's really not worth getting such a pair when you can get a cheaper pair. For example, the Nike Epic React for just less than $100 when this particular pair costs $250. But in a case where you really want to get a pair, um, some of the places you can get would be the Nike official site where it's 250 USD. Definitely would not recommend you getting from uh, Amazon because as you can see, it's over $300 to $543, which is absolutely crazy. Why would we want to pay more for a shoe that costs more than retail when you can get them at retail? So uh, you can also get them at Jackrabbit. So Jackrabbit actually offers them also at $250, $245, $95. the same time, if, you are, if you've been shopping there, you might have some points, reward points or anything like that and allow you to get them at a cheaper price. So in the case where you actually have some um, discount benefits, then you can actually visit Jackrabbit as well. But other than that, the two places I recommend is basically Nike official site and Jackrabbit. So just to sum up today's um, topic of the best Nike running shoes, we went through three running shoes, the Nike Epic React Flyknit, the Nike Zoom Pegasus Turbo, and last but not least, the Nike Zoom Vapor Fly Next Percent. So all these shoes are amazing. They're all definitely amazing running shoes. That's why they are featured in this video. But which one should you choose will really depend on your own performance level, on your own preference. As I mentioned earlier, there is no one best pair running shoe because at the end of the day, it really depends on your own personal preference to find a best pair most suitable for you. Overall, I would really recommend you to get the Nike Epic React because it's an all-rounder running shoe that is comfortable, offers great performance as a pair of running shoes, and can suit all kinds of runners, whether you are beginner, intermediate, or seasoned runners. At the same time, if you're looking to take it to the next level and don't mind spending a little more for slightly higher performance, then I would recommend you going for the Nike Zoom Pegasus Turbo. And last but not least, if you're a professional runner, if you're really looking to take it very seriously, then the Nike Vaporfly is the one that's suitable for you. But at the same time, you need to take into account that it has a higher cost. So if you think it's worth it, then go for it. And that pretty much sums up today's video on the best Nike running shoes in 2019. I hope this video has helped you in one way or another. And if it did, do remember to leave a thumbs up and also share it around so that others can benefit as well. Also remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on a single video and turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I upload. Thanks for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's Nigel here with I'll see you again next week.